Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to properly use my gemstone and cutter sets for Nomad Sculpt. I'll explain what's included in each set, how to install, set them up, and why you'll need special matte caps if you're designing jewelry. Lately, I've received many questions from people who bought my gemstone templates for Nomad Sculpt, but didn't understand how to use them. Some saw only one gem instead of 18. Some couldn't find the cutter. Others asked for a short tutorial, so I decided to make a simple step-by-step -step guide to clear it all up. So let's say you've already downloaded the files. I've placed them in a folder called Lesson. They're all in zips format. And there are two ways to import these zips into Nomad Sculpt. You can import them directly into your current project by tapping the import button. I tap import and find the archive called Gemstone and Cutter Collection. Nomad will ask what you want to do. If you're already working on a ring and want to add a center stone, choose Add to Scene, or you can choose New Project. It's worth mentioning, zip files with matte caps or HDRI can also be added through import. Nomad will ask you to specify what type of content you're importing. For HDRI, select HDRI Let's go back to the gemstones. At first, it looks like there's just one gem, a heart-shaped one. You might think, where are the other 18? Don't worry, just open the scene menu. There you can choose the gem shape and its matching cutter. Also, here's something important. If you open someone else's project and the model looks strange, don't panic. It's probably using a custom matte cap that you don't have you can simply assign a different matcap from your own library. Go to lighting, make sure the shading mode is set to matcap, tap the preview and select any matcap you like. But if you want a more organized and professional workflow, I highly recommend my 16 matcap for jewelry set. Each color helps identify model parts. The matcaps are saved as PNG and can be imported easily into Nomad. They are super helpful when working with complex scenes. Let's add them, but this time using the second method. Unzip the files and copy the contents directly into the appropriate folders inside Nomad's app directory on your tablet. Let's do the same with the gemstone sets. I unzip and move the files into the folders. To make sure the changes show up, restart Nomad Sculpt. Now let's talk about what's included in these sets. Gemstone and Cutter Collection. This includes 18 gemstone shapes, each with a matching cutter. They're grouped neatly. Inside the main group, there are 18 subgroups. Each contains one gemstone and one cutter. Each stone is 10 mm across the long side, perfect for center stones in rings or pendants. Round Gem Template. This set is designed for tiny round stones, like ascents. Each stone is 1mm by default. The set contains three items, the gem, a prong, and the cutter. What's special? The cutter has extra layer options to help fine-tune the fit. Here's how I recommend using the gemstone and cutter collection. You'll see a main group in the scene called gem shape. Tap the little arrow to expand it, and you'll find all 18 gem shapes as subgroups. Each contains one gem and one cutter. Let's say I don't need the heart shape. I can simply hide it. For my example, I want to use the pear shape. I tap and drag it out of the group to bring it up. Then I'll do the same with the oval shape. Once I have the ones I need, I can collapse the group and delete the unused ones. Just tap the three dots and select delete plus. To move the gem and cutter together, always move the group, not the individual parts. Now let's check out the round gem template. It's also a group with a gem and a cutter. Notice this icon. It means there are layers. Let's go to the layers panel and see what we can tweak. There are extra parameters for adjusting the cutter. 
I explained more about this set in a separate video. I'll leave a link if you want to learn more. So, if you're serious about jewelry modeling in Nomad Sculpt, I recommend having Gemstone and Cutter Collection. Round Gem Template, 16 Matte Cap for Jewelry. They'll help you model faster, keep your scene organized, and save time. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments or on Patreon. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.